Hi everybody, and thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at a new option that has just been made available in the past couple of weeks for Google Forms users in education. This is actually sort of a game changer and it's something that I've been waiting for for a while. And it is the ability to use a Google Form to submit or upload a file. Now, previous to this update, Google Forms could only be used to gather information. Uh, but now, um, you can actually create a question with the option of doing a file upload. Now, when you choose this option for file upload, it does give you a warning saying that all files will be uploaded to the owner's Google Drive. So that means if you're the form creator, then any files submitted through this form will end up in your Google Drive. So they want to make sure that you're aware of this and to only share it with people you trust, which is one of the reasons that this option is only available inside education and business. So um, once you see this warning, you can hit continue, and then you're going to see that you have a couple of options. Now, the first option is that you can set a maximum file size uh, by the number of megabytes. So if you want to limit the file size to say 10 megabytes, which would allow for some photos, uh, small videos and documents, you could do that. Below this, you also see where it says file types allowed and it's set to all. Now, if for instance, if you had a journalism class and you wanted to make the file upload capability uh, available so that students could submit photos for yearbook, uh, then you could change this and uncheck allow all files and then simply just turn off everything except in this case images and then hit apply. Now um, and then of course it'll change that right here so that it says file types allowed image. Now in the case of what I'm doing here uh, this is a grant application form and so respondents could enter their name and then they could attach a grant application if we were offering a grant in our district for instance. So I could change that um, to uh, document or PDF in this case and hit apply. So I'm going to go ahead and take a second to dress this form up and add a couple of questions and then we're going to test it out just so that we can see how it works. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of other features that have been added at the same time. Um, now, first of all, I'm going to put a name option on here and change it automatically changed that to short answer knowing that I wanted to collect somebody's name. It's it's gotten smart on us. So um, I think you're going to like this. It's going to save you some time. The next one I'm going to add is um, grant request. And in this case, it's giving me suggestions to add yes, no, or maybe. Um, and of course, this in this case, it's a little bit different um, for what I want. But let me show you how that how you could use this in other ways. Let's say my question is, what is your T-shirt size? And as you can see here, it adds T-shirt sizes. So if I wanted to add these in without having to type them, I just hit add all and it automatically populates it. So very intuitive, very smart. Uh, options that they've added to forms. But uh, for what we're doing, I don't need that. I just wanted to show you that really quick. Um, so what we really wanted here was the file upload option. So um, we've got a name, we've got a grant request, and then of course we want the file upload option. And we'll say upload grant documents. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the uh, preview button here and take a look and see what this form looks like. So you can see we've got a name, the type of request, and then a place where they can add a file. So put in a name, say this is a technology request, and then we'll add a file. I'll just upload something from my computer here. And then it's you can see it's attached, and then we'll hit submit. Now, um, the question is, now that you've got this file upload option, where does it go? So let's take a moment and let's see where these files go. So let me close this window. Let's go back to our form. And as you can see here, we've got one response that's been collected here. So if we click on responses, uh, we can see the name, the type of request. And then down here on this third question, 
you can see that the agenda has been uploaded as a document and we've got an option here to view folder. Now, much like in Google Forms where you would have a response sheet for any responses that are collected, uh, whether it's a quiz or a test or what have you, uh, in this case, we have a response folder now. So if I click on view folder, you're gonna see that for my untitled form, uh, we have an untitled form file responses and a subfolder inside there for file responses to that specific question. Because if you go back here and you look, that question was called upload grant documents. Now this is, this is actually pretty good because um, not only do we have a file responses folder, uh, but we have the subfolder for the question, meaning that you could have multiple file upload questions on your Google form and it would keep them separated by subfolder. Well, hopefully this has given you some insight into some of the new features that we're going to see uh, coming out in Google Forms. Um, if you have questions, visit my site, www.techiecoach.com, and we'll see you next time.